How's it going, guys? Welcome to another Reaper Vlog tutorial. Today, this is actually a guest post. Eric Wickstrom has created another video for us. This time, he's giving us a quick tour of the Spitfire Audio BBC Symphony Orchestra. It's a really great library, and in the Discoverer edition, it's actually free. So he's built us a Reaper template that we can use and get started with it very quickly. So a lot of great ideas in this tutorial, and I think you'll like it. Let's check it out. Hello and welcome to this video where I will show you how you can set up your own template for Spitfire's Symphony Orchestra Discover Edition. So if you don't know, Discover is a free symphonic orchestra VST released by Spitfire. It is a part of their larger array of symphonic orchestra VSTs. This one is the free version and then we have the core version and also the professional version. But this, the Discover version is the free one which you can get if you fill in a survey on the Spitfire website and then you will have to wait for around uh, two weeks before you get it in your mail. But if you're impatient you can buy it for around $49 I think the price is for it now. So anyways, this is what it looks like and you can see all the different instrument families have their own color and that's something I took in consideration when I created this template. So if you have a look here on the left side, you can see that we have all our instruments and also the colors are matching the colors of the UI here. So we can quickly see that we have this top section here, that's the strings, then we have the brass in the red color and the woodwinds the blue and the percussion is this pale yellow. Discover is not a multi-timbral plugin, which means that you will have to have one unique instance of the plugin for each instrument that you want to play. So that's why we have the separate tracks for all the separate instruments. Discover also has multiple outputs per track, but they are only really used for the professional version for different microphone positions and different routings. The plugin has three different controls. As we can see here in the UI, we have the expression, we have a dynamics, and then we have a reverb here. And as an additional feature to this template, I have linked those controls to track controls. So you can change the different settings straight from the track controls here on the left side. So as you can see, you have the dynamics, the reverb and the expression straightly accessible from the track panel. So if you're interested in downloading this template, there will be a link down in the video description. But if you would rather create one yourself, it's very simple. So all you have to do is basically just creating a new track for the VST that you want to create a template for. In this case, we want to do it for the Spitfire Symphony Orchestra. So we're going to select that. So now we have our track now on the left side, nothing special here. And then you basically select the instrument for this track and you give it a valid name like violins one. We can then duplicate the track and on this instance uh, let's say we choose the piccolo instead. Alright so let's say we want to add a nice color to it. We just right click the track, we go to track color and then we can set track custom color and it will let us choose our own color here. So we have this nice purple color and if you want to add the track controls to the track like I showed you before, the simplest way is to simply modify the values of the actual control in the UI like this. Then you go to your track, you press this button here for track envelopes automation, and then you can press this show last touch FX parameters only, and it will show us the exact knob that we changed the value of here. So now if you press the UI button here, it will show in the track. If you want to categorize them like I did here for strings, brass, woodwind and percussion, the simplest way is to simply create an empty track, name it whatever you want it to be, and then simply drag the track that you want to group under that track. So let's have a listen to the sound that you can achieve using this library. I created a quick soundtrack just to demonstrate. For a free plugin this is really impressive, you get all of these instruments of the orchestra nicely categorized in a nice UI, 
you have different articulations for the different instruments and you can create really nice sounding realistic soundtracks using this only. I think where this excels is for creating quick orchestral sketches because you can really quickly switch between different instruments. There's no massive load time for different instruments. I think this is really nice, especially for beginners. These information boxes is really helpful. It tells you something about each instrument and what they can be used for. So it's really great for just learning the basics of an orchestra. But as this is a free plugin, there are of course some limitations. For example, each note only has one take or one sample per note. So playing the same notes many times over is going to sound a bit unrealistic. Because it's not changing between different samples, it's just using this one. This is in comparison to the core and the professional version where you get up to eight samples per note. If you're interested in starting out creating orchestral music, I really recommend this because it's really powerful, it's lightweight and it's super easy to get started. Like I mentioned in the start of this video, you will have to either buy the plugin for $49 or you will have to fill in a survey on the website and then wait for around two weeks. I filled out the survey and I must say it was worth waiting for it. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something about creating templates in Reaper and also that you got a nice basic overview of the Spitfire Discover plugin. If you want to download this template, there will be a link down in the video description. Thank you for watching. See you. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to Eric for making this video. If you liked this video, uh, give him a subscribe as well. Check out his channel. He's got a lot of great orchestral uh, composition related stuff using Reaper. I think you'll like it. Uh, thanks to Spitfire Audio for sharing this really cool free sound library. And thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. Mm -hmm.